if you are um, like on a conscious level trying to hold it all together mm. and you're, you know, at work and you're just trying, or even a mother or a parent, you're trying to like keep the chaos from ensuing, uh, not, not allowing yourself to feel certain things, you know, um, anger or frustration. You just kind of like are pushing it aside on a conscious level. Yeah. You would tend to have dreams where you're running or angry or, or something that's counter to your own, um, your own personality to balance out basically the shadow that you're, you're pushing away. And so it's a way for that act, uh, part of your shadow, basically that you're not aware of to integrate. And it's like an invitation. Mm -hmm. And so you have the conscious and unconscious. And then the dream is kind of like the, it's a way for you to, um, emerge the two like it's like a it's like a meeting place between it's like you're half half awake and half asleep and in, in that and and if you look at the brain and how it processes when you're in rem uh that rem state you are in that kind of almost awake but you're not and that's really it's like you're getting that glimpse of that and when i was a hypnotherapist that's kind of what we did we put people in an active state of, of visualization where the, the merging you start to see bleeding the the conscious and unconscious but i think in dreams it's deeper because it's like a part of your mind is shut off that logical mind so you can really start mm -hmm. to explore uh, a deeper part of it's unchained <laughs> in a way it's unregulated by that executive functioning of that logical brain and you're kind of able to explore in a way because it, it has to be partly conscious because we remember them when we mm. wake up. So there has to be a conscious element inter interacting with the dream. Yeah, uh, it, it is very much, uh, let's say the individuation process or the process of uh, growing uh, beyond your, let's say the, the, the socialization part. Mm -hmm. You know, you, we get, all get socialized by our culture. But beyond that, right, there, there has to be a creative element in the individual that allows you to become an individual mm. apart from the group, right? So Jung says the herd mentality is like the group. Mm -hmm. You know, if you live only at that level, you're missing out on the rest of it, the, the deeper part of it. And that deeper part comes from being in touch with that individual uh, connection that you have to your unconscious mind. Mm because that gives you clues as to what is your purpose here mm. on earth mm. what are you doing here in your individual life right mm. now instead of just kind of going by what the society tells you mm -hmm. you know here's your role and here's your job and just do it that the individual connection with dreams or through dreams gives you that that deeper message of you know you're here to do something special and here's what you're meant to be doing. So Young's quote, he who looks outside dreams and he who looks inside awakens. Mm -hmm. And so the dream is the doorway to your own awakening. And so we need to figure out how to do that.